Yes! Good lord! Well, hello and welcome. Welcome and hello. Today is actually Thursday, which means that it is vlog day, which means that this is... <sighs> you guys, this is kind of a momentous occasion. This is a little bit of a momentous occasion. Let me turn down my brightness over here. This is the first time that I think that we have experienced vlog day together for the last five years. Hang on, I have a lighting issue over here real quick. Here we go. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> ah, there we go. Anyway, for the last, uh, for the last five years, Vlog day has been Tuesday for me because I shoot the vlog on Tuesday, I edit it on Wednesday, and I upload it Wednesday night so that Thursday it's all ready to go in sparkling HD here on YouTube. But now, now we're all celebrating vlog day together and we're just going to do it. We're just going to do the damn thing. So here's how this is going to work. If you've watched a vlog before, it's going to be a lot like that. <laughs> basically going to be a lot like that. Of course, I'm going to take some time to talk to the chat. Of course, I'm going to take some time to talk to the uh, super chat. Average Adam, actually awesome. Very gracious of you, sir. Thank you. Yo, yo, a cool kids club uh, is in the house. There's some moderators in the chat as well, but we really don't ever have any trouble over here. So welcome. And for those of you watching the replay, um, if I'm not lazy, there is going to be timestamps down in the description so you can still skip to your favorite segments if you want to do that. I'm actually keeping track of the stream and of the times and of this, that, and the other. In fact, uh-oh, hang on. Hold please. Let's just hold please for a quick hot minute. I don't think I have that thing that I like to do that's my favorite thing to do. In fact, I definitely don't have that video. I don't have a video ready to go. Or do I? Wait a second. I might have, I might have, uh, no, I don't. Son of a bitch. Okay. I apologize. I don't, I don't have it. Um, I do need to pop out the chat here real quick, real quick. So let's do that. Let's close this. Good Lord. Yes. Good. Wow. Wow. There's so much, there's so much going on right now, you guys. But anyway, uh, I'm really glad to be here. I'm really excited for this vlog. And honestly, what we are going to do is uh, what we always do or what Philip DeFranco does. And let's just jump into it. Jason Brown, very gracious of you. Boom. Thank you. I appreciate that. So uh, first things first in the vlog, we're actually going to switch it up a little bit. But because, because we're doing this in one foul swoop and there's going to be no breaks and there's going to be no jump cuts and there's going to be no nothing, nothing like that, I do actually want to start off this vlog, the first live streaming vlog, um, with some beer. And I don't know, are those bumpers coming out okay? They sound okay over there? I tried to adjust all of my volumes so that nobody has to adjust any sort of speakers or anything like that. Um, but I got a beer here. Uh, wait, hang on. Let's take one quick moment. Boom, Jason Brown, appreciate that. Boom, Jeff Buck, shakalaka, Jeff Buck. And uh, Jeremy, so very gracious of you. Thank you so much. What's up from New York? Still wearing, still waiting for my hug or my crisp high five. We can make that happen. Jeremy, I do believe that in your lifetime, we're going to make that happen. I'm going to be back on the East Coast definitely again at some point. But I'm here to have a beer. Would you guys just appreciate how baller this can looks? This is from Modern Times. This is a beer called Bedrock. I have never had it before. Don't know nothing about it. But we're going to pull a bogan here and we're going to crack it open. Even though, look... I don't like that Bogan is getting to be known as like the beer guy. Like I get it, like he drinks more beer than me, but I wanna be the beer guy. Actually, I don't really care. I don't even know why I said that. Honestly, I just miss, miss Bogan and I wish he was here with me drinking this beer. So here we go. We're gonna pour it into a uh, Grim Army tulip style glass. Oh baby, look at that. Would you just look at that and see, I can't even cut to my clip of Ilea. When I see something like this, I just say, well, would you just look at that? But here we go. We got Modern Times Bedrock. First of all, before I jump way too far into this, 
Uh, everybody's doing good tonight. Just want to make sure that everybody's doing good tonight. Just want to make sure that everybody's positive. Positivity always wins. I want to make sure we're all here and we're being positive and we're having a good night tonight. Jeremy Clark, thank you. That's very gracious of you. Yo, yo, I nicked the live vlog. Awesome. So I'm, I'm hoping that people are stoked on the live vlog. I mean, this is going to be the damn thing. We're going to, the vlog is officially, as of December 13th, 2018, the vlog's officially going live and we're starting it off with some Modern Times Bedrock. Cheers. Here is to all of you. Thank you for coming out. Oh, fuck me running. That's delicious. It's a, uh, it tastes like a brown ale. I get a lot of, a lot of sweetness from it, like a brown sugar component to it. I get a walnut type of flavor from it. I know nothing about this beer and I don't think it says anything about it. And because we, we have no jump cuts, this all has to be done on the fly. So we're going to look it up. Modern times bedrock. Modern Times Bedrock Beer. It's really delicious. Uh, does anybody else have a beer tonight? If you uh, if you do, let me know what it is in the chat. Because uh, we're drinking along together tonight. This is great. God, this is great. I've You don't know how long I've been wanting to do this. I've been wanting to do a live stream for so long. I used to live stream way back in the day. Like 2010 way back in the day. And I loved it, and I always looked forward to it, and I, I don't—I didn't have that in my life for a very long time. So I'm very, very, very excited that the vlog is uh, that the vlog is going live. We got a Southern Tier Creme Brulee. Someone's having a delirium. The chat is just going way too fast. Angry Orchard, Mike Sullivan, Drew there with the Creme Brulee. The Stereo is having a delirium. Delirium is wonderful. It's a delicious beer. I went to the Delirium tasting room when I was in Belgium. Jess was there. If Jess is here, she could vouch for me. We went to the Delirium tasting room and it was fantastic. It was fantastic. Thank you, DJ LSB Vapes. I don't, I don't, you're one of the good ones, Daniel. I like you, bro. Thank you for that. I appreciate that. Um, you should pair Yig with Trappist Rochefort 10. Oh, that sounds... All right, that sounds baller. I actually haven't had the Rochefort 10 in quite a long time. It's been a, it's been a hot minute. I need to get my ass to Bevmo. But this, this bedrock is delicious. So let's let's look at this. It says uh, the nitrogenated miracle will be a resounding high five between our coffee and beer program, combining the nitro brown ale and the coffee we roast mere footsteps away from the brew house, along with a generous gener, ge <laughs> generous helping of coconut expect a creamy toasty chocolatey delight that sings big beautiful coffee and coconut notes that is uh that's exactly what this tastes like it kind of reminds me of uh newcastle brown david in there with the blue moon mango wheat all right well cheers here's to you david oh mm. This is good. This is one of the better beers I have had in a really long time. And maybe it's just because I've been on an IPA kick for so long. Maybe it's just because I've been on an IPA kick for so long that having something that's not an IPA, just it tastes like a, a world of difference. World of difference. Neliquin 5 PBR. Don't let anybody beer shame you ever for drinking a PBR. PBR PBR is the shit. PBR is legit. Yeah, there's just no way to keep up with the chat. I'm trying to keep up with the super chat, at least. Cloudy City Vapor drinking the Sam Adams Winter Lager? <laughs> shit, that sounds delicious. In fact, I've had that beer. That is a good beer. Love you too, bro, ham. Big Boy Builds, yo, yo. Your mouth to lung aliens will be coming soon. Big Boy Builds has been promising me mouth to lung aliens for like six months now. Okay. It hasn't been that long. <laughs> no rush. No rush. In fact, uh, I'm, my K fun is disassembled waiting for those aliens to show up. Mr. Big boy builds, uh, Quahar vapes. Red Oak is your go-to beer. Awesome. i mean, everybody has, I mean, every beer drinker kind of has like a go-to beer, right? Like a go-to beer. Ugh. Pardon me. Burp life. That's just what you get. You just get burp life. Okay, so now that we have a beer, I'm just going to make a quick uh, timestamp here. 
Let's call it uh, 12 minutes and 30 seconds is what I have been vaping. And I don't have a bumper for this, but I just want to go over real quick a couple of things that I've been vaping. It's been a lot. Look, you guys, I have I have too much stuff to vape. Let's start here. First things first, still kind of hanging in there with that Vupu Drag 2, only because I'm lazy and, I, and it's a regulated mod that, that will fire things. And so it just ends up staying on my desk for a little bit longer than it normally would, I guess. I wasn't a huge fan of the Vupu Drag 2, but I got the Vupu Drag 2. And this is a tank, a sub ohm tank that I believe Daniel, DJ LSB Vapes, just reviewed. This is the uh, Owl tank from uh, Advocan. Um, you generally an okay fan of Advocan. They're fine. This Owl Tank is... Here's the thing. The Owl Tank vapes. Awesome. It's a great vape. This is loaded up with uh, Rocket Blast. And it vapes awesome. And the flavor on it is quite good. I mean, it's a single strip of mesh, but damn, that tastes good. The problem I have with this tank is look at this tank. I don't want to vape a tank that looks like that. Does that look ridiculous to anybody else but me? I just think that looks the silliest. That Advocan Manta. The Advocan Owl. Yeah, the Owl tank looks bulbousy, Scott Jenkins. It does look bulbousy, but you kind of like it? Okay. Um, I do have some vape mail coming up here too. Uh, there is a goat in there. I know 100% for sure there's a goat in there. So we're going to talk a little bit about the goat. This isn't going to be the official goat unveiling. I'm going to do a full video for the goat. I'm going to go way more in depth than I'm going to go in this vlog. But in this vlog, you're going to get a little, a little taste, a little taste of the goat, just like this. Anyway, so that's one of the things that I've been vaping, and you go over there. Uh, I set up a uh, Wake Bigfoot. Have you guys seen these? I think James already posted the murdered out one, but this is the murdered out Wake Bigfoot topped with the black uh, original recipe recoil. I am finally trying Vaptasia's Killer Custard. It's a juice I've never tried, and uh, everybody always raves about how great this custard is. So, you know... I wanted to give it a try, and it turns out, eh, it's not, it's not a bad little custard. I'm not in love with custard vapes, but I like this one, all right? <laughs> Thomas Crow, that tank looks like a beer keg. It absolutely does look like a beer keg, but that's also on the list. Um, Still hanging in there. I call this my Matt Cully setup. Matt, I don't know if you're here or not. I think I saw you in the chat earlier, um, but I'm not sure uh, if you're still here. He, I watched his review for the V-Zone E-Mask, and he really liked it. And so I tracked down V-Zone at ECC and got one of these just based on Matt's recommendation. It's like my favorite freaking regulated mod. I just love it. And in honor of Matt exposing this to me, uh, I've topped it with his Serpent Elevate tank. Matt, you make good products that I like using. This is filled up with uh, version one of the Root Beer Banana. Really good. Good morning yourself, Yusef. So that's what I've been vaping. That's just a thing that never goes away. Uh, still hanging in there with the Delta for the time being because I don't have anything on my top side yet. And, and my top side is naked right now. Naked top side because it's waiting for the goat, which we're going to get there in a second. But I got the TVL Revenant Delta. This is loaded up with Mox. And that's just banging. The problem is I just have too many really good vapes. Um, Mox juice, and I know a lot of people are curious about that. I sell it. I mean, we sell it on RecoilRDA.com. I think it's a stellar juice. It's strawberry dragon fruit. It's freaking delicious. Uh, I've also been using this. How about the controversy around this? Is Stan Tenacious TX Vapes here? This is the Lucid Kit from Geek Vape. And Stan, you got nothing to worry about. They, they, they use the name on an otherwise kind of chintzy, real cheap kit. I don't think this kit's going to be a real big hit. 
haven't really been enjoying it very much. Uh, the tank constantly goes dry. There's no way to prime your coils with this tank, and we'll get there someday when I give it a full video, but I don't know. It's fine. It's loaded up with that uh, strange fruit, sour milk, spoiled milk, rotten milk. Spoiled milk? Eh, I think there we go. Not good. Not a good vape. It's real airy. It's real wispy. It's not real flavorful. It's just not a good vape. Um, okay. Well, maybe I don't have that much crazy stuff. Let's do this. Aegis Mini. Aegis Mini Gear RTA combo has become like my favorite thing to use. I just love it. Whenever I leave the house, I take this with me. It's just a fantastic little setup. I can rock this little gear at 48 watts. That's it. And it kills me. It gives me such a good vape. This is also, also banana root beer. Damn, that's good. Damn hell ass, that's good. Okay, maybe I do have too many things. Kennedy Vindicator. Kennedy Vindicator, Kennedy 25, and uh, M Turk Turkish uh, Harvest, because it's Turkish Harvest time. I got, uh, I got, I, I went on a, a Turkish maize bender and I vaped too much Turkish maize. <laughs> and it's because I love the juice, but I just, uh, it was one of those things, I vaped too much of it, and so now we're back to the Turkish Harvest. on a uh, slightly dying battery. Uh, two more, I promise, I promise. We're 20 minutes in and we've only done what I have been vaping and that's ridiculous. Damp Flyin', thank you so much. Very gracious of you. For hours and hours I watched your vlog for the last years. You are one of the reasons why I started a vape YouTube in Germany. Hell yeah, hell yeah. There needs to be more vape YouTubes. I don't care what anybody says. The more the merrier, welcome. Just join in. It's a party, man. Welcome. Uh, Jacob, I wish I could send you some of my vanilla bourbon honey tobacco juice. Oh, shit, Jacob. I really wish you could, too, because that sounds baller. That sounds phenomenal. Um, straw, Beezy. God damn it, I've been vaping a lot of that juice. And the Titan. Does anybody remember this Titan with, uh, with Clutch? on the door that Eric over there at Silversteam Vapor sent over. It's just been sitting on my shelf because it was like, I was like, oh, that's so pretty. I just want to put it on my shelf with like my cool mods. And then I was like, no, use it, dork. And so I've been using it. It's topped with the uh, Unicorn RDA. Is anybody hip to this Unicorn? I don't know, it's not amazing, but it's vaping pretty good. And I'm assuming that at any point, if anything is wrong with any of my levels or music or video or anything like that, I'm sure you will let me know in that chat. Wisconsin Flog, this vlog, this vlog will end at midnight. I'm trying to keep it to two hours. Like, that's my goal. I'm watching the clock. I'm, watch, I'm keeping track of what I'm doing in my segments. My goal today, first live vlog out of the gate, we got to keep this at two hours. I mean, above that, come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> and then lastly, but certainly not leastly, Aspen Mod Co. Monarch. This one is named Fjord. It is in desperate need of polishing. And even though Coil Turd sent me Rizzo rags last week, I have still not got around to polishing this. And that bums me out. But I think we all know what's on the inside. Smacks. Freaking pony on freaking acid freaking. Shit, that's beautiful. And it's a TM24 Pro Series with that Ultem cap on there. The Ultem cap on there. It might happen, NorCal Sick Boy. It might happen, Chuck. You don't know. You don't know. You, you don't know. I might, at, at two hours, no matter where we are, I might just kill the stream. I might just be like, nope. <laughs> just to prove you wrong, Chuck. I'd be like, nope, fuck you. Cut the stream off. Um, and then that's it. Wow, cool. That, my friends, is how you do a damn segment. That's uh, that's what I've been vaping. Um, everything still sounding good, still looking good. Appreciate that. Show us the goat, please. Can't wait two hours. Pedro, here's the thing. We're gonna get to the goat, uh, kind of right now, I guess. Um, I guess right now, uh, 20 minute, 22 minutes and 15 seconds. It's vape mail time.
Well, those bumpers aren't too loud, are they? Do they blow your uh, brains out? I hope not. But I have a Febreze scented garbage bag. It's not my favorite, but look, it's necessary, okay? I need a garbage bag. I drape it over my chair. I got a mountain. Hang on. This, these boxes. Oh, I got a stack. I got a stack of boxes. This is the top of the stack. This goes down to the floor. But this first one here is from Bonsai Vapors. Um, I know it's some of their new juices. They did some variations, I believe, of the Milk Plus juice. And Milk Plus is one of my favorite juices. Pff, fuck, forget about it. All time. All time juice. I love it. And I got a little package here from Bonsai. And this is, uh, yeah, this is a bunch of Milk Plus. This is, uh, this is Milk Plus, this is the original. Oh, this is Milk Plus Banana? What? Shut up, Bonsai Vapors. Shut up. There's Milk Plus Banana. There's Milk Plus Strawberry. There's Milk Plus, what's the green one? Apple. They did Milk Plus Strawberry, Milk Plus Banana, and Milk Plus Apple. I kind of want to do the Milk Plus Banana first. Like, I, I literally just want to... I want to smell and, and taste this liquid. Yeah, fuck yeah, that's baller. And, I don't know, does anybody recognize these types of bottles? What is that? That's a crazy looking bottle, um, but it works awesome. This, I mean, these are really good bottles. Are these new Chubby Gorilla bottles? If so, they look fantastic. All right, well, there you go. First one out of the way, no big deal. Bonsai Vapors and some new Milk Plus liquid. Also, it's getting warm in here. I might have to pop my shirt off. We might do this, uh, we might just do this, we might have to do this topless. In fact, I believe I'm wearing, what's that say? Yeah, I'm wearing my goat shirt. I'm wearing my goat shirt because the goat, the goat, the goat's gonna be in this video. Here we go, here we go everybody. No more drama in the chat. Stop that shit. Just say and take it elsewhere. Well, if there's drama in the chat, that's why I have moderators to uh, to keep it friendly. That's why we got o Oh My Lanta. That's why we got Poon Sauce. That's why we got uh, that's why we got what we got. I got see this. I know this is going to be juice too because known known distro, and I believe they sent some more of my. Uh, uh, L Primal Elixir Learn. I'm not 100% sure what's in here, but I have a feeling that might be what it is. Yes, a 60 mil of Learn, a 60 mil of Consume, and a 100 mil of Lunar Drips Sour Moon. All right. Idaho Spud Bites? What? They sent me candy from Idaho. That's cool, man. Shit. That's cool, man. Thank you. Oh, wait, there's a Christmas card, too. I'm definitely opening this Christmas card. Uh, let's let's check over here in the Super Chat real quick, sir. Uh, Carter, very gracious of you. Congrats on the wedding. Love you, Grim. Thank you, Carter. I love you, too. Uh, bumpers are amazing. You've done a really good setting up this live stream. Look, you know, I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm not a streamer. I don't stream regularly. I'm assuming that the more I do it, the better I'll get at it, but... You know, I want to have a strong showing right out of the gate. Nick, congratulations on the wedding. Thank you so much for shouting Primal out on the YouTubes. Erica from Vapun, the Primal Lady. Thank you, Erica. Thank you very much. And yeah, we got some uh, Primal Elixir Learn. This juice, apart from having fantastic packaging, is just a bitchin' juice. It's just a, it's just a damn, damn good juice. And I'm so glad they switched the bottles to chubby gorillas from the other bottles that they were in because those other bottles they're not for me i got another one here primal elixir consume a gummy watermelon <gasps> a new watermelon flavor i wonder if it's going to uh dethrone watermelon is like the greatest watermelon flavor of all time because i still do believe that go tell wayne i do believe that grim you are the goat no adrian you are the goat. Uh, Jeremy, first time catching one of you live, buddy. Keep it up, buddy. You're the best. You are one of the reasons that I continue to vape. <laughs> Absolutely, man. Absolutely. You're one of the reasons that I continue to make YouTube videos. So it works, <laughs> you know, it works. Uh, it's it's a mutually beneficial thing. It's a mutually beneficial thing. Nick, where can I get Pony on Acid in the UK? Wow, that's a good question, Grant. 
Wow, that is a good question. I don't know where you can get Primal Elixir Learn. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know where you can get Pony on Acid in the UK. But you know what? That's a, that's a good question. And the answer is that I, I don't know the answer to it. I just don't know the answer to it. I'm sorry. I don't know where that is. If anybody can, uh, if anybody can help him out, that would be great. That would be great. And, uh, yeah, we, I mean, what is this? Who's this from? Someone named Thomas? What's this? What's in here? What are you? Are these... Oh, this is a... What is this? What are you? You look like the TM24... Pro. What are you? I don't know. I, I, just, I genuinely don't know what this is. Looks like an Ultim Atomizer. Is this Goonish? Is this Goonie? Ooh, I think this might be that Ultem Goon. I mean, I might not be allowed to show this. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have even said anything. Disregard. 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 I should not have opened that live. Sorry. Sorry. I've said too much. Moving on. Let's move on to the next package. I'm going to get in trouble. Definitely getting in trouble for that one. Shit. Shit, man. I knew it. I knew I was going to get in trouble in this vlog. It's just the thing that happens. Continuing onward into vape mail land. This is fun times, watching me open vape mail. Uh, Colin, great presentation on the 510 report. Oh, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. You know, uh, uh, it was it was a mutual effort. Um, Danielle Jones, who I'm not, I'm not sure if Danielle's here tonight. I'm not sure if she's hanging out. Thank you very much, Spirit Moon. I saw that. Thank you. Um, I don't know if she's here, but she did the heavy lifting of that 510 report. Uh, both parts. There's part one, and then there's part two, and part two is going to be crazy. This is the next package. Look at that logo. Stan? Where's Stan? Where is Stan? Fogging out with the Batmans here, bro. Fucking fogging out with the Batman. You have no idea how helpful that video was. I found your video, Fogging Out with the Batman, and it it helped me, and uh, I, I really appreciate that. Stan? Is Stan here? Stan's not here. I want to know if Stan listens to a lot of punk rock music, because this logo is a very punk rock logo, IMO. And I don't know, uh, I don't know if he's hip to it, but I know what's in here. I know, oh, I know what's in here. First, we got to open the card. Apparently, he sent me a, a love letter. But yes, thank you, Colin, uh, for the kind words in the 510 report. Um, the next week's, next week's 510 report is going to be insane. Insane. When we wrap all this up, whew, insane. It's insane. It's going to be crazy. And uh, yeah, so, I mean, huge shout out. Thank you to Danielle, as always. I mean, she's critical. She's critical for the 510 report. Nick, we're watching a vlog. We heard you say that you wished for a 21700 parallel mod. This is what we make. It's called the Warlock's Hammer. This is a dual parallel 21700. The circuit was designed for a dual 30T. It has dual MOSFETs to split the load evenly across them, causing less voltage drop and more circuit long gen t long long gen longevity. Why can't it long why can't I say that? Longevity longevity that's the word i was unbelievable unbelievable i mean it's hard to believe that i barely have a high school education uh we appreciate all you do for the vaping community we hope you enjoy this mod mark and amy p.s uh to get this to you we went through our mutual friend stan who also did the graphics on the outside question you can find fantastic all right kick ass let's get this mod open Certificate of Authenticity, Warlock's Hammer, number 27. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I'm keeping that, man. You're getting thrown away. Let's take a look at this Warlock's Hammer. Here we go. Shout out to Vape Stew. There you go. Anyone in the Vape, too? vape Stew? Screen capture right now. Shouting out. <laughs> and then it's going right in the garbage. Yeah, that's how I roll. I'm just kidding. Tenacious TX Vape, Stan, you're here. Stan, do you listen to punk rock? I mean, you don't have to do a super chat if you want to answer, but I won't see it. 
<laughs> we need to talk, Stan. We need to talk about punk rock music. I don't know if you're into punk rock or not. But, holy crap. <gasps> what? What? I am blown away right now. Are you kidding me? That's too much. That is too fucking much. Mark and Amy, thank you. That is too much. Okay, first of all, it says it has the Grim Army logo with Odorous fucking Urungus, the singer from Guar. That's the first side I saw. Then, Guar. That's Balzac, Jaws of Death on the front. Guar logo. This is... I. Thank you. I mean... Yeah, oh my Lanta, Dan, put a link in the chat for uh, where to get your Warlock's hammer. This is a monster. And it's crazy because I just got out that Titan. I just got out the Titan. Because I was like, shit, I want another parallel. Like, that mod, the Aspen Modco Monarch made me really miss parallel mods like really desperately badly so i was like no i need more so i set up that titan and now i got oh and a trinity glass cap for the reverie for the reverie of course it's for the reverie i'm gonna keep this velvet pouch too because pff, velvet pouches well damn i'm stoked that is cool i am a huge guar fan they are tattooed on me Guar is tattooed on me. I love this. I love this so much. I'm assuming the door just comes off. Yeah, you got a big dual battery port right there. Dual battery sled. This is a monster. Guar. Ooh, I'm so happy. That's cool as shit. That's cool as shit. Two more boxes. And then the second box. Oh, baby, that's the goat. Oh, this one is heavy. And this is from Beyond Vape. And I have a feeling there's 12,000 products in here. There's probably like, there's probably juice. There, there, I mean, this is the heaviest. The he Whoops. Don't set it on the keyboard, Nick. Don't set it on the keyboard, you lunatic. Uh, let's see what's in here from Beyond Vape. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. I got the uh, Hell Vape Hell Beast tanks. I, I have not heard of those. Black and blue. Uh, and rainbow, of course, my favorite color. Two Nautilus coils, three Juicy Ohms, Ohm Muffin, three Fall Delights. Awesome. Three Fall Delight Hynix. Wow. Uh, and three of this year's most popular coffee beers. I thought the juices would pair nicely with each beer. I have attached the profiles to the bottles as well. Hell yeah, Mainer. That's awesome. Oh, and he sent me the he sent me these for the beers. All right, that's cool. You know what? That's cool. Miner, thank you for that. I really appreciate that. Let's get these out of here. Let's take a look at what's going on. I don't know nothing about these Hell Vape RTAs at all. Are these Hell Vape the Hell Vape Hell Beast hybrid tank? It does both sub ohm and mouth to lung. Uh, uh, Addy, happy birthday, Addy. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry I missed your birthday live stream with Fresh03. He did hit me up. Um, I read it exactly one day late. I read it exactly one day late. Uh, wait, wait. People are shouting at me. People are shouting at me. Go look at the in inside of the Warlock's Hammer door. Yeah, number 27. Pow, right there, number 27. Look inside the Warlock's door. Yeah, number 27. I thought I saw that. But uh, thank you, Addy Tooney. I love Nick Green, that tropical. Oh, that vape, NorCal Sick Boy, Mr. Just Right One, The Wrench Reviews, and Josh Rhodes. I, I love all of those people as well. Well, except for Chuck. I'm just kidding, Chuck. I'm just kidding. I just like to give you guff. It's what I do. I give guff. I'm a guff giver. So this supposedly does, uh, this is supposedly a sub ohm tank and a mouth to lung tank. And I'm assuming it can use Nautilus mini coil heads. It's actually a pretty slick tank. It kind of looks like a tank that Beyond Vape would have. And I don't mean that in a negative way. I mean, Beyond Vape 
has a certain style to their products and this fits in with that style. I remember vaping that uh, Beyond Vape Silo tank back in the day. Me and Matt Cully were both vaping that Silo tank back in the day. Uh, guff giver. All right, so we got some tanks. We got some liquids. So many Fall Delights. I've been vaping a lot of Fall Delight too. Okay. Oh, we got some coil heads, and then we got beers. Shoot, I'm not going to be able to get all these out of here right now. I might have to set this to the side. Oh, <gasps> what? Goose Island Bourbon Candy Brown Barley Wine Ale? Goose Island, bro? Goose Island is sick. Goose Island rules. Goose Island, uh, they're, they have... God, what's the name of that Goose Island beer? I can't remember it. Anyway... I can't remember it, but thank you for the beer. I'm not going to go through all of these, but I am... Uh, no, we're setting up the goat. I'm not going to set up the Hell Vape Hell Beast. We're setting up the damn goat, and because that's what's next. That's what's next underneath here. Yeah, there you go. Also, sorry, this is just the camera angle that works for live streaming. So I apologize that you kind of have to see, like work stuff like those are all ha these all have to get shipped out that's to f f clean my floors this literally is just garbage that's just a bag of garbage so i apologize that you have to see all that stuff i try to keep that stuff out of the videos so that it looks like i'm in like a slick clean professional office but you know what it's just real life this is real life that's what you get let's talk to the chat real quick be right before we get to the goat okay I just wanna I just wanna talk to the chat for just a minute before we get to the goat. I'm gonna have some beer. Uh, Mike vapes in. Batman from Rig, we're set, let's rock. Cool. Bourbon County is only available a month out of the year. Yeah. Free goats. Free goats for anybody attending a live vlog. Sorry, Brian. I wish that were a reality, but it's not. I wish I could send everybody free goats. I mean I would. I mean at these prices though, we're practically giving them away. Where can I get an uh, original recoil squonk pin? That's going to be a question for Dwayne. Set up the hammer and your cool setup and the hammer like you're cool. What? What? <laughs> what, Dan? Set up the hammer and you're cool. Set up the hammer and you're cool. Oh, okay. I, I see what you did there. I see what you did there. Hey, Grim, any kiss tattoos? Not yet. Although... Well, let's save that. Let's save that for getting to know Grim Green. I don't have a getting to know Grim Green segment planned, but we'll kind of throw it on at the end there. We're going to talk about tattoos a little bit. We're going to talk about tattoos a little bit and enjoy this beer. Thank you, Matthew. Thank you very much, Matthew. I really appreciate that. Pete, well, okay, let's set up the hammer. Let's just set up the freaking hammer right now. We're going to... Oh, sorry, Titan. You're getting, you're getting replaced by the hammer. We're going to put two 21700s in here. This is a beast. I mean, this is this is kind of a monster. It's just it's just a monster. It just feels like you could hit somebody with it, you know? Like if you ever got into trouble like at a vape show and someone was starting shit with you. Thankfully, I have Dwayne, so he's my bodyguard. He protects me. He attacks people for me. All right, let's throw this unicorn on here and set up the hammer of God with guar on it. Oh, it's vaping. Let me droop some juice in here. I know. It's just such a tease, isn't it? We're just waiting for the goat. And I'm just delaying it. I'm just delaying it even more because I wanted to have some beer. And apparently, everybody was yelling at me to set up the hammer with guar. I cannot not vape this. I mean, this is going to be... 3.7 volts? Yeah, buddy. Here we go. I love, and I know I said this, I think in the last vlog, I love long drags. Longer the better. I just love taking a long fucking rip. It's so good. Just taking a long rip. Let's do another one of those.
I got some juice on my finger. It's okay. Whatever. Everybody does it. Look, don't shame me because I lick juice off my fingers. I'm pretty sure every vapor in this chat has licked juice off their fingers at one point or another. Maybe not that seductively, but they have done it. You've all done it. You've all done it. <laughs> What's better than the broadside mod? Nothing. Oh, there's lots of stuff. I mean, not lots of stuff better than the broadside mod. Look, all this vape stuff, there's no objective good. And I don't want to go on a rant here, but there's no objective good in vaping. Whatever is good is what you like. I love the broadside. Sure, maybe the Ronin mech mods better. Some people think the Ronin's better. Some people think a purge is better than the broadside. Some people think a broadside's better than a purge. It, it, ultimately, it's whatever you like and whatever you hold in your hand. I know that there's not a mountain of people out there that think the V-Zone E-Mask is an amazing regulated mod, but I think it's an amazing regulated mod, and that's why I like using it. Use whatever you want, vape whatever you want, and, and, and never, and I know I said this, I think, in the last vlog, but never let anybody vape shame you. Nobody, don't let anybody ever make you feel like you're less of a person or less of a vapor because you're not using something cool or because you're using something that you think is cool that not everybody else thinks is cool. Who cares? Who? Literally, who cares? Sorry. Exactly, Anthony. To each their own. Is there some uh, uh, trouble in the chat? You need a grim e-liquid TPD ready? Yeah, well, thanks for all of the freaking... Yeah, okay, well, you know the rule. There's a hat, and so I have to put on the hat. I didn't make these rules, I just follow them. How about that? Make RDAs great again. <laughs> make RDAs great again. And I have one for... Uh, I don't know. We'll do a giveaway. No, I mean, not tonight, but eventually we're going to give it away. Here we go. Goats. Oh, I got goats. Do you see these? These are the goats. These are the mother trucking goats. And we're going to set one up. So uh, let me make a note here at uh, 4450. That's the goat. That's officially the goat. It's officially goat time. Um, I don't know. Which one do I want to open? I don't know. Let's just go with one. There, why don't we have colors listed on these, Dwayne? Why don't we have colors listed on these? <laughs> why don't we have colors listed on these? Um, so the first thing about the GOAT is it has uh, anarchist wire. And that's something that no other coil head based anything has. Anarchist wire is... Anarchist wire is the best wire. Anarchist wire is the only wire that survived the wire wars because it's the best. I have never had a wire that I loved more than anarchist wire. I love vaping it. I love the flavor I get from it. And so when we were doing the goat, it was a no brainer that we had to get anarchist wire in there. It's going to be awesome. Brad. I've uh, been watching you for about five years now. You were the biggest influence on me getting into vaping. Quit smoking after 12 years. Fuck yeah. Congratulations, Brad. That's awesome. Congratulations. I, I love that. I love success stories. I love it. It's one of my favorites. All right, goat. Here we go. Oh, we got a goat, mother trucker. We got a goat. So I'm literally, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you what can be done with the goat. Just pulled the goat out. Let's make sure that this is, uh, nope. <laughs> okay, we got to get, we got to get the goat ready a little bit. So I'm going to attach the base to this uh, broadside right here. Seeing this, seeing the base on the broadside. Is everybody, everybody up close to the screen right now? Close up on the goat now? No, we're not going to do a close up on the goat now. What are you, crazy? Got to get these uh, heads out of here first. The heads that aren't labeled. Real good, Nick. Real good. So let's check the resistance before we attach it to the base. Spinning your single core Clapton's. Drew. That's fantastic, Drew. Thank you for that, Drew. I can't wait for some single core Clapton's. So I can't build... Um, Single core Claptons. 
I just can't do it. In fact, I don't know that I could build Clapton's anymore at all. It's been two years, maybe longer, maybe since I've... Uh, oh, I can't check the resistance on this. And that's bumming me out. Okay, I think I'm just going to screw this in. All right, are you ready for this? Are you ready for how amazing this is going to be? All right, so we got the goat, and we're screwing the goat head into the goat base. Just like that. Uh, it comes pre-wicked. Um, you trim the wicks real short. That's the best way to do it. I'm going to grab my scissors. Make sure this is going. Sorry, sorry, I'm trying to... Uh, point two. Yeah. Oh, this should be fine. No, I'm going to use the other one. I'm going to use the other one real quick. Hang on. No big deal. I'm going to test out. I'm going to, I'm going to check the resistance of the other coil head because they're two different resistances. The other goat head, as it were. In fact, I don't think it's going to focus on it, but the top of the goat head has anarchist engraved across the top. Oh, that's so sick. Fuck, these turned out way better. Oh, I'm so excited about this. You don't know how long we've been waiting on this goat, you guys. We have been, Dwayne and I, have been collectively working on this goat for over a year. Over a year. That's insane. It has taken all of our time, all of our energy, all of our sanity, all of our money. The goat. The goat needs to happen. All right. I got a little bit ahead of the game there. Sorry, I'm just fiddling. I'm just fiddling because this is my first this is my first production version of the goat. Dwayne has been hoarding all the goats and all I have is the last prototype that we did which I've been vaping like a crazy person but this is my first time. Like this is my first time seeing it IRL and it just uh, it just makes me so happy. Bitchin. Bitchin. So we got goats, we got wick coming out. Uh, I just, you know, you don't have to trim them. I'm just going to trim them down a little bit. We generously put cotton in there. And I like to trim it down a little bit. If you like more cotton, you can leave it. If you like less cotton, you can cut it. And that's the great thing is you can decide what you want to do with whatever. You can decide what you want to do with your cotton. You can decide you know, how you want to use this. You want to squonk it. You want to drip it. You want to do anything. And look, Tucking the wicks is not some big long process. They just get tucked right into the side. Right into the side right there. And the shorter you cut your wicks, I think the better off you're going to be. And I want to show you this because I don't know if this is going to show up very well. But do you see? Do you see that tiny little hole right there at the top of the goat head? You see that when I, when I squeeze this, you see that juice just water falling over the coil? Did you see that happen? Did you see that beautiful magicalness happen? Did you see it just waterfall? See, I see I got a little carried away there. Got a little carried away right there with the squonking of the goat action. I've honestly discovered that the goat requires a little bit different of a squonk. And that's not unheard of. I squonk different atomizers, I don't know, you know, sort of different ways, I guess. Um, and I'll show you my technique here in a second. Get this cotton to play nicely. Oh, yeah. Fuck, this is going to be a good vape. All I'm looking forward to is this flavor because this flavor is going to knock my damn dick in the dirt and it's going to be awesome. Ooh, those o ring tolerances are perfect, bro. Perfect. Then we got the AFC. I like to close off the AFC just a little bit. And here's the squonking technique that I like to use with the goat. And we're going to go into, the, into all of the ins and outs of the goat in a future video, okay? We're gonna go over it top to bottom and we're gonna talk about why we did everything that we did and why we think this is such a fantastic product. Um, I'll just tell you right now, the reason that I think this is such a fantastic product is this is the sweet spot of vaping. I mean, this is the sweet spot. We, 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 I can't even tell you how long we spent fine tuning this, getting this vape to be just the perfect vape. The GOAT is all about the final product. The GOAT is all about that quality of vape. The GOAT isn't about 
throwing sick builds into because there's plenty of great RDAs on the market, honestly, that do that. And you can throw plenty of sick builds in tons of atomizers. Shit, the Recoil, the Recoil Rebel, we have atomizers that you can throw sick builds into. The GOAT is all about that vape experience, that final final product, the vapor that comes out of your mouth, mouth that's what this is about. Um, sorry, I got I got uh, a little behind here on the super chat. Let's talk about this real fast. Erica, my fiance Russell Emery from Innovative Inc. made all those hats. Oh fuck yeah, awesome! Shout out to Russell for the Make RDAs Great Again hats. Spin in your single core Claptons. Thank you. I made an RDA to a heating chamber with quartz rods. Yeah, um, I, you know back in the day. Uh, I saw first people using quartz rods back in 2010, I think was the first time I saw people using quartz rods and they were using them in uh, the Igo L or the Igo W, one of those two. Um, Scuba, the GOAT stands for greatest of all time. Got to roll Santa with the kids. Watch the 510 report. All right. Thanks, Chuck. Thank you for that two dollars. You didn't need to, but you did, and I appreciate it. So, this isn't. So, let me show you the squonking technique on the goat, so we don't get too far ahead of ourselves. The goat isn't one that you just crank. It's not one that you just squeeze and flood the chamber. This is a dripper. You treat it like a dripper. So, I like to do what I call the punching bag technique, where I kind of give it like a, a this, like one, two, three, four, five, and that's like one, two, three, four, five drips into an atomizer that's the easiest way to do it. And then when you're first starting off, you're going to want to give it a few squonks. Oh, this one's already fairly wet. You're going to want to give it a few squonks just to get that cotton really going in there. We're going to turn this wattage way up. We might be maxing this out. No, nope, let's go with uh, 66, 66 watts. Oh yeah. Crackle. Oh, that crackle is so fucking satisfying. So we're, we're wet, we're goaded up, no building involved, no nothing involved. You just, you just, you just have one of the most flavorful vapes you'll ever have. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, goat? And then we could even do it again. One, two, three, four, five. And that's just gonna like, one, two, three, four. It's gonna, it's like dripping. It's like, it's like poetry. It rhymes. It's just a, it's just a fan fucking tastic vape right out of the box. There's no guesswork. It's just, it's literally that sweet spot. And when I mean that sweet spot, I mean that sweet spot. It's the sweet spot that Dwayne and I both crave. It's one of those things that, you fiddle with like you try to get this sweet spot with other things like with other tanks with other rdas with builds and resistance and wick and coil height and where your airflow is coming from literally all of the guesswork is taken out from the elevation that we put the coils at compared to the airflow, where we put the airflow, how tall the top cap was, how conical the top cap was. Everything about this is made for simplicity and quality and consistency and getting that sweet spot over and 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 over. And I will say the GOAT doesn't come with a non-squonk version, but you can drip on these coil heads without any worry of flooding because it's all sealed up and you can't possibly accidentally drip juice inside of those little holes that squonk. So we, we can just take some mocks. Yeah, I think this is mocks. And we can just drip it like a dripper and, and use it as a dripper. It's kind of incredible. It's kind of unbelievable. It's such a GD good vape. In fact, I'm going to turn this up. I'm going to turn this up to 79 watts. Here we go. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? So yeah, goat, bro, the goat. Uh, the goat is going to be dropping, I believe, within the next week. I think it's hitting next week. 
I, I don't want to say for sure. I did talk to Dwayne last night, and I think we decided next week, but it, it might be next week. Um, I think you guys are really going to be stoked on the price, dude. The price is not anything that you would possibly expect. I'm not even going to give the price right now. Just kidding. Okay, a goat's going to be 36 bucks. Comes with two coil heads. One's a 0.12, one's a 0.2. Regulated, unregulated. We made one for everything. It's anarchist wire, which is so insanely high quality that you can re-wick this for months. I mean, I'm not joking. You can re-wick these goat heads for months. You can vape them until literally the wire and the coil eventually just break down before you even need to get a new goat head. It's not like a sub-ohm tank. You can't re-wick a sub-ohm tank, motherfucker. And the vape quality is just... It's insane. All right, someone requested the goat on the hammer. Here we go. Let's throw the goat on the hammer. I guess we're just switching the goat from squonk mode to dripper mode right now, and that's totally acceptable, totally allowed. There you go, goat on the hammer, except this is a point two, so I don't know. I, I, would, I would, If I was using it on something like the hammer, I would probably throw the lower resistance goat head in there. Still good, still good. You guys, this goat is all about that. It's all about that vape that you exhale. It's just beautiful. It is, it is that sweet spot. And I'm really excited. I'm really stoked on this product. I want to make vaping easier. For people. Um, I know there's a lot of, and I look, I'm not trying to be any sort of ageist type of person here, but I know there are a lot of vapors, especially in our little hobbyist world that can't wrap coils, that don't have the time or patience to wrap coils, but they want that kind of vape. And I know a lot of people that use tanks or that use, you know, sub-ohm tanks and they don't want to build, but they want to squonk. So now, welcome to squonking. Welcome to the most effort-free squonking you have ever had. In fact, the goat on top of the top side, legit. That is so legit. So legit. That's it. That's all I want to vape. All I want to vape is the goat. And we have wide open airflow. So if you want to run this real, real hot, you just open up that airflow and just chuck some tits. Or like myself, I close it down about halfway because I, I don't know. I just, I just like a little bit more restricted of a lung hit. And that's why we included an AFC. You know, uh, my whole inspiration behind the goat was um, I had met this guy in 2013. Uh, here's a here's a throwback 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 Thursday story. I met this guy in 2014 2014 at the first ECC event I went to, and his name was Ted, and he used to have a uh, burp life. He used to have a YouTube and he used to go by something about vet, the vaping, vaping veteran or the vaping vet or something like this. And uh, he was a veteran. Um, shout out to all the vets out there. I don't know how to salute properly. Shout out to all the vets. But he was a vet and his name was Ted. And he loved vaping. And he was probably 65 between 65 and 70 years old and he loved vaping. And he, and he was so proud and he was showing me all his RDAs and he just really kind of touched me on a, a very deep level um, because he was technically blind. Like he wasn't allowed to drive. Um, he had these huge, huge thick glasses on that he still could barely see through. He was technically blind according to the state of California. And he showed me pictures of his setup at home for how he used to build. And he, he bought a little webcam and set it on his desk and then had the webcam feed to a big monitor that he like put right in front of his face so that he could watch the monitor and like build coils and 
he was so dedicated to vaping and he just wanted to vape and he he had such a struggle like building coils and even though he could do it and even though I saw the builds inside of his RDAs I still felt like there's got to be a better way you know there's just got to be a better way we need to make this kind of really satisfying vaping accessible to more people and that's what I think we're going to do with the goat Yeah, Ted. Brian, you remember Ted? Ted was awesome. And uh, you know, and Ted, I don't I don't know whatever happened to Ted. He used to email me pretty frequently and I would always reply to his emails. He was always very like, "Hey Nick, Ted, thanks for your videos. Today I did this and I got a new RDA and I hope you're doing good." And I was always like, "Yeah, Ted. You know, fuck, let's talk. Let's chat, Ted. You're just Ted was just a good guy, and uh, he is one of the huge, huge, huge inspirations behind the GOAT, and I just want, you know, I love vaping so much, and and we love vaping so much. Otherwise, we wouldn't be here, right? Otherwise, you wouldn't be here, right? Why not make this available and accessible to everybody that wants to do it? Like, why not make our club as big as possible and just have an army of, like, vapors that all just enjoy vaping i i love that i love that hats off to ted if you're still out there ted hit me up man the goat though that flavor that flavor is banging if you think mesh has good flavor wait till you try the goat <laughs> oh man it's so good so good that one got a little hot on me all right well there you go that's all the vape mail that's the goat we just hit an hour friends we just hit a freaking hour which means oh, what are we gonna do next uh let's combine um i don't know do you want to read some viewer mails i mean is that a thing should we read some viewer mails friends i mean i feel like people went to all the trouble to send me some viewer mails so I feel like we should read some viewer mails. So let's mark down the viewer mail timestamp at 010445. Here we go. Welcome to uh where's the viewer mails? I'm just trying to find it. Boop, viewer mail time. Yes, Addy. Uh, Addy Miser in the chat. You can absolutely drip on the goat or squonk on the goat. Do either. Either or. Um, you're not going to accidentally ruin anything because it's literally impossible to uh, get juice anywhere but inside the juice well. There's, there's nowhere for it to go. But in squonking mode, because we made it squonk through the top, and that was one of my requirements, uh, Dwayne probably heard me say the phrase waterfall like... 8,000 times when we were when we were first designing the goat I was like no no I want the juice coming out of the top is not good enough the juice needs to waterfall out of both sides and just cascade over your coils and there's just two tiny little holes up there so if you drip you'll be fine you just drip and it and it cascades and and you're good to go let me I'm just going to have another rip here of the goat Am I? Am I slurring my words? I'm going to blame that on the modern times, friends. No other reason. No other reason than the modern times. All right, let's do some, uh, let's do a couple viewer mails because I got some viewer mails and I figured why not let's do some viewer mails. Uh, this is a viewer mail that I absolutely, absolutely wanted to share from a guy named Sean. Sean wrote in uh, and just said, a small blessing. And it was, uh, it was addressed to me and Casey. He says, Nick and Casey, I don't know if this will be early or late, but I wanted to send you this Scottish-Irish blessing for your wedding. And this is great. And this is why I wanted to share this. And this is just some positivity. And I'm sorry, I know I'm, there's probably questions about the goat that I'm ignoring. Uh, Dane, are you ever going to make an RTA that will knock the socks off of the reload RTA? Um, yeah, maybe. 
Here's the thing. The RTA that I wanted to design and release just got released, and it's called the Gear RTA, except I had nothing to do with it. But when I got the Gear RTA, I went, holy shit, that's the RTA that I would have designed. I felt like I was opening my own product when I opened the Gear RTA because I wanted to do a tiny little single coil flavor banger RTA forever. Gear beat me to it. Yes, hi Erica. I just opened, I just, we just opened it. We just opened the package. I got the juice, I got everything. Thank you, Erica. I love you. That was amazing. Uh, Primal Elixir Learn. I mean, come on. That's that's one of the best flavors I think that exists. If you if you guys out there haven't tried Primal Elixir Learn, try it. Also, uh, we do have goats shirts for sale as well. Anyway, yes, Erica, awesome. Thank you. Big boner for my gear RTA. I do have a big boner for my gear RTA too. I like that that's a term as well. I'm glad that I'm glad that we have boners. <laughs> uh, nope, the Yo Yo Kids Cool Kids Club uh, are, is definitely going to get early access to the goat. They're going to be first in line. Um, the Amber Juice group on Facebook is going to be uh, also first in line, and then we're going to release it to the rest of the world. Zach, Nick gives me a boner in my heart. Thanks, Zach. Appreciate it. Anyway, viewer mails. This is where we're at. We're at viewer mails. A small blessing. Uh, he says, and, and this blessing is great, a lot of positivity, and I like this. May you always have enough happiness to keep you sweet. May you always have enough trials to keep you strong. May you always have enough sorrow to keep you human. May you always have enough hope to keep you happy. May you always have enough failure to keep you humble. May you always have enough success to keep you eager. May you always have enough friends to give you comfort. May you always have enough wealth to meet your needs. May you always have enough enthusiasm to look forward. May you always have enough faith to banish depression. May you always have enough determination to make each day better than yesterday. May you and Casey always have enough compassion, joy, and happiness in all the years ahead. Congratulations, Sean, a friend you just haven't met yet. Sean, that was awesome. I love that. I love that so much. It's That's just life rules. Like I want to print that out and put it on my office wall because humility and happiness and, and, and passion, these are all things that I think are, uh, very incredibly important. I think humility is one of the, one of the greatest traits a person can have. Oh, Michelle Lynn's here. I didn't see you, Michelle Lynn. I apologize. I apologize. So yeah, thank you, Sean, for that email. Got another email here from, uh, Anthony. Anthony writes in asking about the V-God Stig. Uh, he says, I've been a longtime viewer of your channel. Always enjoyed having some beers and watching your vlog. Started vaping around 2012 and then quit to go back to cigarettes. It's okay. Started back up in 2014 and stuck with it, but still struggled with, struggled with not smoking cigarettes because when I drink beer, uh, vaping didn't do it for me. Yeah, that's a, that's a big thing. Uh, Anthony, when I first went to Las Vegas as a vapor, I was really, really scared because I knew that Las Vegas and cocktails and beer and blackjack all just make me want to smoke cigarettes. And they still do. When I go into a casino and I sit at a blackjack table and I have like a Jack and Coke next to me and you feel like Dean Martin, I just want to smoke cigarettes. I, I constantly, in fact, the last time that we went to Las Vegas with Ruby Roo, I think these hats are on recoilrda.com right now, Alan. I'm not 100% sure. Dwayne might have to verify, but I believe they're on Recoil RDA. Yeah, catch the replay, Erica. Thank you. Thank you so much, Erica. I miss you. Uh, I want to come back to Idaho. I want uh, I want to come back to Idaho and, and do another vapey tour thing and, and hopefully get to see you guys. Um, but yeah. I totally, I totally identify with that drinking beer where vaping doesn't do it for me. Thankfully, it did, but I was very worried that it wouldn't. Um, uh, not to mention, I went through a lot of mods and tanks due to being drunk and dropping them or knocking them onto the floor. Anyways, when I saw your review on the Stig, I thought it would be perfect for my drinking nights. No charging, no burning, no building, no cotton, no refilling. Pretty much drunk proof. I ordered two packs of them as soon as I got them and put them to the test of a drunken night, and I didn't even think about wanting a cigarette. I even bought a pack of cigarettes just in case, but never touched them. I can finally say I am 100% cigarette-free, 
because of the stigs. I was wondering why your review was deleted. Glad I saw the video before it was taken down or else I would be smoking two packs of cigarettes every night a week. Uh, crazy, crazy, Anthony. I'm glad you like the stig. I love the stig. I use the stig a lot. I think it's a fantastic thing for a smoker to have. Um, the video got taken down for more reasons than I can go into right now. It just did. It's just a thing that happened. It's just a thing that happened and I got, it got taken down. It didn't get taken down. I, I took it down. Um, Golf T Vapes, late to the show, only here for a second, but I want to say fantastic job on the 510 report last week. Looking forward to part two. Thank you, Golf T Vapes. And again, whenever anyone says good job on last week's 510 report, I have to say go thank Danielle Jones. Go on Instagram and search for Rubber Ducky. You're the one. That's her Instagram name. I don't, I don't know why. I think it's a great name. She did 100% of the heavy lifting for that video. Without her, that video would not exist in any capacity. And, uh, I, Danielle's the, Danielle's a person that I just want to hire. You know, I, I need to hire a research team for the 510 report. And Danielle would be the director of research. Uh, I was hoping that I would get to talk to you. Love metal, Satan and waffles, Jackson, because I, before the, sh before this stream started, I was watching the chat and I saw your name go by and I chuckled. I was like that. That is a great internet name. Love Metal Satan and Waffles Jackson. Um, Yo, Graham, how do you get into the cool kids list? Uh, head over to my Patreon. If there's any spots available, snatch them up. And if not, then we're full. There's no way around it. We're just full. I apologize. I put a cap on my patronage just because I just because I want to. No other reason. I really just I like having a cap on my Patreon. It's no big deal. Snaggle275. Graham, I love watching your videos. I quit smoking six years ago. Thanks to vaping. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. I quit smoking almost 10 years ago and I have January 27th, 2019 is going to be my 10 year vape anniversary and uh I, I can't wait. I have I have Instagram posts planned. I have so many things planned for my 10 year. <sighs> I'm stoked. Got to go keep your gear boner out of the dirt. Beardy Magoo. <laughs> Appreciate that Beardy Magoo. 20 bucks. <laughs> Kent. Kent. <laughs> I love you, Kent. <laughs> I love you, Kent. Thank you for that $20. And yeah, you can borrow 20 bucks from me anytime. Anytime you want. Um, here we go. Let's do another viewer mail. Let's, let's, uh, Oh, we're at an hour and 14 minutes. I think I'm going to be able to get this maybe under two hours if we're being real honest. If we're being real honest. Uh, let's start off here with a uh, start off. We're not starting anything. We're like halfway through the viewer mails right now. Mark. Mark wrote in a viewer mail. And of course, anybody watching this live stream, anybody watching the replay, you can always email me, nick at grimgreen.com, if you have any viewer mails that you would like to see answered in public on this stream, in the vlog. Um, but we got Mark here writing in. It says, hi, Nick. Feel free to use this letter in the vlog if you would like to. I definitely would like to. I want to start off by saying I'm a huge fan of yours. I can binge watch, binge watch your old or new vlogs for hours. That I don't, I don't recommend, uh, I don't recommend doing that. Anyways, the reason I'm writing this is because without you even knowing it, you've helped me through a really tough time in my life. A few days ago was the one year anniversary. Oh, of my grandmother's death. Of course, uh, having a tough day, I went to YouTube for a distraction and made my way like always to your channel. Your humor and good hearted nature really helped me get through what was really a rough day for me. She was my only remaining grandparent and I will miss her forever. That's Thanks, Mark. I'm, I'm, thank you. I'm very glad that I could help you. Um, I felt I had to write and say thank you to remind everyone that it isn't what you have, it's who you have. Especially this time of year, I may not be able to afford brand new shiny vapes, but even the cheap used ones that I have have kept me off the stinkies for eight months now. <sighs> Fuck yeah, Mark. Congratulations. I would like to wish you and your new wife a very Merry Christmas, and I hope all is well down in sunny California. Sincerely, longtime subscriber, Mark. Okay, I'm sorry, Mark. Uh, I said don't include my name. So everybody forget Mark's name. I apologize, but uh, thank you. Thank you. I mean, that is, 
that's a lot. That's heavy. That's incredibly touching. I'm an emotional creature and I'm trying to com- keep my composure together, but, uh, thank you. I'm, I'm, I'm glad I could be helpful, helpful to you. Uh, let's do one more viewer mail because we're an hour and 17 minutes into this and that's crazy. Uh, okay. I'm gonna have to do that. Um, Josh, Last one, last viewer mail is from Josh. Wait, hang on. I saw my name in the chat. Grim, you got me off spokes and basically saved my relationship. My girlfriend hated the smell of them. Two years later, I'm still vaping. I can't believe I used to smell like an ashtray. Yeah, it's one of those things like you don't think about it. Um, There was one time I paused smoking for six months or so, just about six months or so. And um, I, I remember... Not, I remember really wanting cigarettes the whole time because I just quit cold turkey. I was like, fuck it. I can do this. I can quit cold turkey. It was tough. Uh, peace out, fogging out with the Batman. I'm glad you were here. That really made this stream my favorite stream so far. I'm really glad you're here because honestly, before a few weeks ago, I didn't know you existed. And then I found your videos and I was like, fuck, this guy's cool. So thank you, fogging out with the Batman for coming out. Appreciate that. Running long, Jeff Buck. Running long. Don't even remember what I was talking about. Oh, yeah, I paused smoking, and uh, I wasn't smoking, but my brother was still smoking at the time, and so we stopped and got gas, and he got out of the car and had a cigarette, and I was pumping gas, and we got back in the car, and I got back in the car, and then my brother got back in the car, and it was like this wall of of o- aroma just hit me, and it was like awful. It was like ash and smoke, and like all he did was step outside and have a cigarette, but it was like permeated into his clothes. And I think just that alone makes vaping worth it. Not smelling like that. Not smelling like that. All right, let's get to this last viewer mail because I still have to do some favorite comments of the week, which I've got all queued up, and I still have to do a very random juice tasting, which I'm pretty excited about. We got some juice from the UK tonight. Um, But Josh wrote in and said, uh, hey, Nick, hope this finds you well. First off, congrats on the wedding. Thank you very much, Josh. Secondly, can I get a shout out for yourself? What? You, sir, maybe just be a regular dude, but you've done so much for so many. Fist bump yourself. All right. It's a weird request. Uh, I just cracked a bottle of Rocket Blast. Sorry to say it tastes more floral than fruity. Well, there you go. Taste buds, right? I, I love Rocket Blast. Rocket Blast is is brilliant, but that's okay. You know what I mean? It's whatever. Everybody has personal preferences. I don't even care. My name is Josh, and you can use this in any emails. Um, I'd like to ask for a pair of shout-outs for my buddy Colin, absolutely Colin, and my fiance Ren. They've kept me from sinking into depression many a time. Well, we're shouting out Josh, we're shouting out Colin, and we're shouting out Josh's fiance Ren. Absolutely. You guys are all shouted out, and Josh... Yo, yo, Josh, thank you so much. Uh, I really appreciate that. Really very much appreciate that. So now, what are we doing? What do you guys want to do? You just want to hang out? Yes, I am going to test the selfish juice. The one that I set aside for myself in the last vlog is the one I have here. It's a short fill, so I got to throw some nicotine in it, but I'm excited. Let it steep? Well, I can't let it steep. We're just going to... We're just jumping into this. I mean, I can't let it steep, man. Anyway, God, that beer is good. Oh, I still have some left. Oh, it's like it's like another beer in here. Look at that. Look how much I have left. That's amazing. Grim Green left you a message on Instagram. Thanks, Alchemy Vapor. I will do my best to find it. My Instagram inbox. Look, if you, if anybody wants to actually try to get a hold of me the best way to do it i'm not doing that we'll do this no i'm not doing that we'll do this back to the way we were the best way to get a hold of me is just email me nick at grimgreen.com those actually appear on my computer and i read through all of them i might not be able to reply to all of them because as i've said in the past this is Sorry, I can't edit out the burps. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just can't. Um, this is a uh, this is still just a one man show, man. It's just me. Everything that I do is literally me. 
And that's it. Every email that gets answered is answered by me. If I, if you see on Instagram that like Grim Green liked your photo, that means I was at your photo and I physically double tapped it with my finger. Everything I do is literally just me. But if you want to try to get a hold of me, nick at grimgreen.com is the best way to do it. You're going to get an auto response back, but I will see the email. So Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, any and all, any and all social media, it's kind of a lost cause. Like if you tag me on things on Instagram, chances are I'll see them, but it's not like a, it's not like a guaranteed, it's not like a guaranteed thing. Jeff Buck, did you ever figure out what the unmarked bottle of juice is from the live stream? That would be a true random juice tasting. Um, yes, it is. Uh, it's three milligram watermelon. That's what this is. It's three milligram watermelon that I just peeled the label off of for some reason. That's what that is. But but here we go. I got to do another bumper. I got to do another bumper. Hope it's not going to be too loud. It's time for a very random juice tasting. Yes. Here we are. We're going to taste this. So this came from uh, the UK last week. This is called Selfish Liquids. This is called Attitude. Uh, I don't quite remember what the flavor profile of it was, but we'll get there when we get there. Um, I do have to put a, uh, a short fill, you know, nicotine shot in here. And I don't know the easiest way to get off these. Uh... Oh, God, don't spill anywhere. Ah. <sighs> That was close. Uh, I'm going to be using the P Vapor nicotine shots. This is 18 milligram, which turns it into a three, I believe, when used properly. I don't know. I don't know. What's better, short fills or like reverse short fills? Liquid Barn or TPD? I'm going to just pull this off of here too because I don't want to squeeze this through this tiny little hole. That's ridiculous. Why would I do that? Yeah, get that off of there. Let's just dump this in here. And now we're going to have to shake. And I don't want to do the Fresh O3 thing where you creepily look at people while you shake and say their name. So I'm just going to shake and I'm just going to read the chat. Yeah, what up, Kent? How's Kent doing tonight? Use a pair of pliers to pop those lids off. That's probably a good idea. I just used a screwdriver and it always freaks me out. My inner ear is throbbing in pain because of Nick slamming things on his desk. I use headphones. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Eye contact, Vic. This is for you, Vic. Just eye contact with Vic. Just me and Vic right now. Shaking up the juice for Vic. You like the way I shake this juice, Vic? Huh? <laughs> Nothing creepy about that. All right, here we go. Attitude by Selfish. I wish I had the flavor profiles of this too. What's the what's the website? Selfisheliquid.com. Okay, I'm gonna look up the flavor profile to this before uh, I taste it. No, I'm not. Oh, good call. Not gonna do that. We're just gonna taste it first because I like evaluating it before I read the uh, description. Hmm. Is there melon in that? I feel like that's melon. And just because we're here, I'm, I'm, we're, it's kind of a retro vaping, so... So we are putting this selfish e-liquid attitude on a Goon 22, which I realize isn't really a retro vape. It's not that old, but I, I dug it out because this Goon 22 happens to be for someone in the chat right now, Mr. Thomas Crow. I found it. I found it, and we talked about it in the last Instagram live stream, but you weren't there, and I was so excited that I found it, so I just wicked it up. Um, I put it on top of this little dorky, dorky, dorky little snow wolf. Thoughts on this? Let me know in that chat. What do you think of this? What do you think of this snow wolf guy right here? Seriously, I'm interested. It's got a big wolf on it, and then it's that. Look at that. 
and then it's and then it's like a big button over here that's real real clicky Let's see if this produces any vapors yeah it's producing vapors this is a 0.3 so i'm going to turn this as high as this little mod will go because i don't know if this mod does much more than like 70 watts actually let's turn it to 61.4 and this is old school i just have this is uh 22 24 gauge Anarchist. This is 24 gauge anarchist wire on here. Um, sorry, I had a question over here that I wanted to read. Advocacy question. The vape community here in Guam is very stagnant. The shops compete against one another to undermine each other rather than promoting what can we do. Ah, here's the thing, man. Here's the thing, order, 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 vert, order, vert. Here's the thing, order, vert. Um, I don't know. There's nothing you can do. Here's the thing. Shops bicker. Shops go back and forth. When California used to be like the biggest place for vaping in the United States and there was shops on every corner and shops in every neighborhood and shops and shops and shops all over the place, all of the shops had feuds with each other. I'm not joking with you. All of the shops in Southern California had these stupid, stupid feuds with each other about like, who's better? Who's got the better shop? Who's got the more cool shit? Who throws the bigger parties? Who throws the bigger cloud comps? It was like these beefs. And then while they were all busy beefing with each other, the legislators came in and just fucked everything up. And then they all closed. <laughs> So maybe they should have spent a little more time caring about what's important than bickering with each other. That's the speech I would give. Go into one of those shops and give them that same speech. Let me know how it goes. <laughs> Let me know how that goes. Snow Wolf John would vape. John Snow would vape on a Snow Wolf. Uh, Alan, yeah, it looks tacky. I dislike Ray's logos and emblems. I'm the exact same way. Exact same way. Thomas Crow, I know, what happened? Snow Wolf used to be cool. It's got a Coke mirror on it. Yeah, it definitely does. Look at that. Just chop your breakfast on a mirror. Someone please tell me, someone please tell Snow Wolf that it's raised wolf is just gross like all of us. <laughs> yes. Uh, what bit rate are you streaming with? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, 6,135. How about that? Is that a bit rate? I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing right now. This is this is my first outing. I'll, I'll promise I'll get better as time goes on. I promise. And, I, and you know, I want to grow this vlog live stream. I want to have segments. I want to have people on. I want to have this be a real fucking event. But we got Thomas Crow's uh, Goon 22. We got this loaded up with Selfish E-Liquid Attitude. Uh, this is set to 61 watts. I got the Goon 22 shut off to two airflow holes. That is the Sparkle Maple Drip Tip from Jess from DHD that's called Rose. Copper Rose. It's called Copper Rose. It's not called Sparkle Maple. So here we go. Let's have a two to this. Yeah, there's definitely, uh, there's definitely some melon in here, uh, but it's a good melon. There's definitely some melon in here. I guess it would help if I had my airflow set correctly, right? I had that set up for a single coil. So I was only getting... <laughs> well, you know, even after, even, even, even me, I mess up constantly all the time. And that's okay. So now that both sides are open, let's try this again. The Goon 22 with round wire in it, Anarchist round wire, is a really banging vape. Um, Dwarvi, this is the Goon 22 millimeter. Uh, it came out in 2016, <laughs> 2016, I think. Um, I really like this juice. I don't know what it is, but I really like this juice. It does taste like it's going to be a coil killer. Like it tastes like there is some serious, serious, serious sweetener in here.
<laughs> James, if I get enough requests to open up more patron spots, I'll open up more patron spots. But as it stands, I like having my patrons capped off so that if someone wants to leave, if someone drops off, then someone else can jump in. You know what I mean? I don't want to just, I don't know. I just don't want to flood my shit. I just don't want to flood my shit. And I appreciate that. I appreciate you trying to give me money. I am trying to make a living here. This is my job. Believe it or not, I'm at work right now. This is my job. And so I'd love to have you over on the Patreon. I'd love to have you over on the Cool Kids Club. I'd love to have you on the live streams we do on Instagram because they're awesome. We talked about uh, fast food a lot. In fact, the last live stream on Instagram we did, I saw that... uh, (laughs) I saw that ZS Benedict mentioned it earlier, but we literally talked about farts for about 40 minutes. And it was a serious conversation about farts. Uh, The Pamster, how you doing, Grim Green? Do you stream often? I don't think I've ever seen you before. What's the flavor ratio of PG to VG? Uh, I believe this is a 70-30 mix. I do not live stream that often. I think this is the fifth live stream that I have done in 10 years of being on YouTube. But this is going to be the live stream. This is my live stream. The vlog is going live. God, I'm excited. God, I'm excited. Fallen Hearted 96 wants to become a vape YouTuber as well. I definitely think you should. And I definitely think, I definitely think you should. Whatever you want to do, you should definitely do it. No time like the present. Just jump into it, as Philly D says. And honestly, all it takes is dedication. All it takes is time, energy, and dedication. Like anything else, you got to dedicate time to it. And it's tough when you're first starting out and you, you, you're not getting, you're not getting what you want out of it. You know, there's times, and there's even times for me now where you see things changing or like when you're first starting out and you're putting all of this work into these videos and they're getting like, you know, hundred views, 200 views, you kind of go, Uh, All right, well, I'm thankful, you know, be thankful for the 200 views, but always want more. Be thankful for the 300 views when that comes, but always want more. Be thankful for the 1,000 views when they come, but always want more. I am thankful for every subscriber I have. I'm thankful for every view I get, I, but I always want more. I'm always, I always want to grow. I always want to do right by the community. I I started in this community in 2009 and I feel like I've been a part of something so great for the last 10 years that I'm just I'm just honored honestly, overjoyed to be a part of something bigger than myself and having that thing that's bigger than myself be able to provide for for Casey and myself. Um Sorry, I got off on a rant there. But yeah, you should definitely be a vape YouTuber. Uh, yeah, uh, the Salford Vapor, yo yo Nick, can I get a fist bump to my co-host down under, Damien Vaping in HD at work in the chat. He is at work and in the chat. All right, do you see this giant fist here, Damien Vaping? If you're not bumping your screen right now, then you're not doing your job right. Boom, thank you, appreciate that. <laughs> Nick, please cut the tag off the hat. No, I don't want to. All right, here, hang on. I'll just do one of these jobbers. Pow. No more hat. No more No more, uh, No more. more tag on the hat. Should I take the sticker off too, or do you leave the sticker? I don't know what's cool anymore. I haven't been cool for a very long time, and I don't know if you believe the stickers on the hat, if the cool kids are doing that or not. Um, here, what, we, we got some more super chat here that I'm missing. Oh, my God, I'm missing so much. Uh, ZS Benedict, I almost forgot your vape anniversary is the same day as my birthday. Much love, ZS Benedict, yo yo, bro. Yeah, well, I'll wish, I'll be sure to wish you a happy birthday on January 27th. That's one birthday I will never forget. Josh, thank you very much. You're very gracious. Sifu, you didn't have to do that, but you did. I appreciate that. Uh, I got half of Kent's 20, who's got the other. Cheesehead, I just want to say thanks for being such a role model to everyone and for inspiring me to be more of an advocate. Uh, you know, I'm just, I'm just doing what I feel is right. (laughs) That's all I've ever done. And that's all I'm probably ever going to do is just do what I feel is right. I want to do right by the community. I I want to help vaping in any way that I can, because vaping has helped me in more ways than anything ever has than anything ever has. Um, So thank you, Cheesehead Vaping. Everybody should be an advocate. Scott, Scott got Kent's other half. Well, I appreciate that, man. I will literally pay you to cut that tag off your hat. All right, Scott, it's gone. It's gone. 
Oh, there's still a little bit of like a nub in here. Can I leave that? Is that allowed? I don't know what's cool anymore. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, looks like it froze. Not sure what's going on there. Does look frozen on YouTube though. So I'm just gonna keep talking and make sure that this uh, keeps going. I'm getting an error message on chat for the hat Merry Christmas. Yeah, it's frozen. We're definitely frozen. Sorry. Technical difficulties are happening. Why is it frozen? I don't know why my stream is frozen. I don't know if you can still hear me. I don't know why my stream is frozen. I don't know if you can still hear me. I'm just gonna refresh the uh, the page. I should still be streaming. Should still be streaming. Hoping it comes back. Hoping it comes back, everybody. Should be streaming. We're good? We're good on your end? We're good? We're working? Uh, all right. Well, here we go, everybody. Uh, for the hat. Oh, you're going to buy the hat, Glenn? All right, shit. Give me your address, Glenn. <laughs> that other hat has your name on it. You just paid 25 bucks for it, which is more expensive than the hats are. Uh, so that's weird. Dr. Pencil Vapia. Seems like everyone, including me, love the live vlog and the live chat. Hope it becomes the way the vlogs are done from here on out. That's going to be up to you guys. Um, just let me know. If you want live vlogs, I'm in. And even if you don't, we're still doing them. Live vlogs from here on out are going to be a thing. Poon Sauce McNasty. This is for the shower farts. Yeah, well, we talked about shower farts in the last stream. I can't believe we did that. Okay, so what we were doing before I got super, super interrupted was we were trying to look up this juice. This is selfish. Let's see what this brings up. Uh, selfish e-liquid. Here we go. Attitude by Selfish e-liquid. Let me, let me just vape this for a little bit more. Talk amongst yourselves. We'll talk to the cat. Uh, uh, chat, it's your birthday present. More live, yeah. This is gonna be a thing. Blake the Snake, Blake the Snake. That's a great. That's a great name. By the way, just want to let you know that. Okay. I definitely get melon out of this juice. It's very sweet. I get melon. I get a little bit of tropicalness. Thomas Crow, I might just keep this uh, Goon 22. Sorry. No, I'm just kidding. Um, all right. Okay. Well, selfish. I get lemon. I, I get lemon. I get melon. See, that's my dyslexia kicking in right there. I get melon. I get tropicalness. I don't know what the flavor profile of this is. It's $14.99. Uh, I believe that's uh, British pounds. I think that's sterling, as Andy used to say. Sterling. 15 sterling. Uh, did Jake the Snake ever get off crack? I believe he did. I, I believe he did. I'm glad you guys are into the live vlog. Oh, an hour and 40. We're running long. We're running long, everybody. All right, let's read this. Uh, uh, strong blend of powerful strawberry, punchy black currant infused with hints of guava and berries. I was way off. Okay, there is no melon in this. Strawberry, black currant, and guava. <sighs> no wonder I like this juice. Uh, I really get the guava. I think the guava is what I was mistaking the melon for. And guava, look, guava is one of those kind of weird flavors that not everybody likes. I know for sure my new bride, Casey Pickle, she is not into guava in any capacity. She just does not like guava. but I like it. I like guava. I really like this juice. Selfish. Selfish e-liquid. Shit, that's good. Okay, this juice, this selfish e-liquid, if you have the ability to get this, it's coming very highly recommended. Um, it's a little bit weird. I like juices that are sometimes a little bit weird, and I know that. I'm aware of that. 
I've, I've recommend juices to people before and they're just like, Nick, this is the worst shit I've ever vaped. I can't believe that you like it. And I go, I know, I'm sorry. I do like weird flavors. I love black currant. Uh, Lenko Vapor Mai has that unbelievable black currant flavor. I love guava and I am a strawberry whore. I basically, anything with strawberry in it, uh, chances are I'll probably like it. It's why I like Strawbeezy so much. It's just the perfect strawberry flavor. It's why I like this Mox so much because it's strawberry dragon fruit. And this is strawberry blackcurrant guava. Oh. God damn it, that's good. All right. Well, Selfish Attitude coming pretty highly recommended. If you have the ability to get this juice, which I believe it's only available in the UK, but if you do have the ability to get that juice, I would highly recommend getting that juice. In fact, what's the resistance of these coils? Oh, they're a 0.3, never mind. I wanted to I want to run something super low on this hammer, on this guar hammer. I want to just run like a hard short. I want to run like a 20 gauge one wrap. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I would never do that. But I want to run something real low. I want to install some like Fiends frame staples that always come out to like a 0.07. That's what I want to run on this. I want to run something wicked low. Pow. Fuck, that's good. Homeboy OC gave me $2. Holy shit, Ryan Hall is here. We have a celebrity among us, friends. I'm just kidding, Ryan. Thank you for coming out, bro. I, I really like your videos. Keep doing them. They, they, are, they are some of the better videos that are, that are on YouTube, sir. And thank you for your very gracious donation to my pocket. Rick. Is that Rick, like, from Earth Dimension C-137? Love the live stream, but as a vape shop employee, can I get a recap on the California flavor situation? Um, sure. Let's just do that uh, real quick right now, right before we jump into favorite comments of the week and we end this here vlog video. Um, California, there is a statewide flavor ban. I don't remember what it is, but there is also two other bills related to vaping. God, I wish Stefan was here. Is Stefan in the house? Is Danielle or Stefan here? Because they're going to explain this much better than me. But there's three separate bills in California right now. One is a statewide flavor ban. One has to deal with online sales. And one has to deal with marketing. And the marketing one is really, really vaguely worded. They are going after people. I don't know if this includes social media. I don't know if this includes social media influencers. I don't know if this includes YouTubers. But it is a, if they feel that, California, if the state of California feels that you are marketing a vapor product in a way that could be appealing to this certain age group, it's like, it's like 14 to 21 or something like this. If they feel that you are trying to appeal to a certain age demographic, that would be like an illegal offense. You would probably get cited. You would probably get fined. And that only goes, I believe, for vape companies operating out of California. Um, I don't know what the bill looks like. I haven't read it. Uh, I haven't read the online one either. I don't know if that's shipping out of California or shipping to California, but there's an online component to this new bill as well. And then there is the full statewide flavor ban that has the support already of like seven legislators, seven legislators and lawyers introduced this bill. And I can't remember the full uh, name of it. Good Lord. I wish Stefan was here. But that's what's going on in California. It's something we're going to talk about in a future 510 report um, once I get a lot more, a lot, lot more information on it. Rick, love the stream, but as a vape shop. Okay, I already read that one, Rick. Thank you, Rick. Um, Justin, boom, fist bump for Justin. No, no questions asked. Nicholas, so I'm thinking about starting a vaping podcast. It would be geared towards beginners and how to make the switch as well as some actual facts and some advocacy thoughts. Do it. Podcasting. Uh, I'm not sure if everybody here knows this, but myself and Ruby Roo, we do a podcast every week. We just had episode 104, 
114? I don't even remember. Um, but we've been doing the Culture of Clouds podcast for a while. I, I, I love the podcast. The podcast is one of my favorite things to do. It's easily one of the funnest things that I do all week is podcasting with Ruby Roo. And it honestly doesn't take much technology. If you have a cell phone, and I'm not trying to sound like Gary V here, but if you have a smartphone, you could record a podcast with your smartphone. Just get a little tripod for it. Hit that recorder button. Talk into your po- talk into your microphone. Record an audio file as a podcast. Upload it to wherever you want to have your podcast be consumed, and you can do it. And you can just do it. And I would highly recommend it. Nicholas, let me know if you follow through on that podcast. I think uh, I, I think everybody should get involved in one way or another. Do YouTube videos. Post stuff on your Instagram. Let's grow. Let's grow this industry. Let's grow this community. Let's make it. Uh, so undeniably huge that the FDA and, and and the CDC and Stanton Glance can't uh, can't ignore us anymore. Ken, I'm going to use my Ken voice. Hey, Ken, thanks for that five dollars, Ken. Fuif. <laughs> You're still an inspiration to me too, Ken. Ken's one of those guys. I'm not sure if everybody here is hip to vaping with Ken. Vaping can, vaping with Ken's one of the good ones, man. He was one of those guys that didn't have a YouTube yet, and, and he was just starting. And he's like, hey, I'm just starting this YouTube. We chit-chatted a little bit back and forth. He started his YouTube, and now I see notifications. It's like, vaping with Ken is live, and then it's awesome. It's awesome, Ken, to see you jump into it and start growing it. Uh, that is... That's just an inspiring thing, and I appreciate you, Ken. Appreciate you, Ken. Lots of people miss the goat. Well, it's okay. We can come revisit the goat. We only got 10 minutes left in this stream, though, friends. Uh, yes, the Vape Invader. Grim Green, can I get a fist bump for my YouTube channel name and the vape and my vapable custom Vader helmet? What? Is that actually a thing? Yeah. Of course you can get Vape Invader. That that fist bump is for you. If you're not bumping your screen right now, please do. Uh, uh, that gross burp was also for you too. Ah, uh, okay. Pardon me. I can't. I can't edit out burps anymore. So uh, that's going to bring us here. We're winding down, you guys. We're winding down to the end of the vlog. I really appreciate everybody coming out. Um, What I would like to do right now, I think, oh, I forgot this. Uh, I can't believe I forgot the graphic. I was so stoked on using that graphic. Ah, Next time. Next time. Anyway, I'm going to have a, let me have a toot here off the goat and then we're going to do, I'll toot, I'll toot while this is going on. Now it is time. We're just going to put this at the end. Favorite comments of the week. Favorite comments of the week. Yeah, here we go. Let's do some favorite comments of the week, you guys. You know, it's just one of those things. I wish I had the graphic up here. Like, I just wish I did. I wish I hadn't forgotten that. Um, Vaping with Ken, yes. Mitchell, very gracious. Thank you, Mitchell. You're shouted out, Mitchell. You you are definitely shouted out. Joshua, very gracious of you. Thank you so much. Thanks for all you do. I'm really loving the live vlogs. I've made it three years off of the stinkies because of you. If you ever make it back to Richmond, I'll buy you a beer at Guar Bar. Guar Bar. <sighs> I have a very, very special, special, special place in my heart for Guar Bar. Guar Bar is, uh, Guar Bar is like fucking Graceland for me. Goober Vapes, five bucks. Shout out to all the vapors worldwide. This shout out right here is from Goober Vapes to every vapor worldwide. I'm getting extra close for Goober Vapes. Bump that fist. Kind of looks like a... I don't know. That's weird. Anyway, Goober Vapes, thank you for that. For the graphic, $2 for the graphic. Do I owe you a graphic? That's okay. Even if I do, even if I don't, we'll make sure that gets sorted out. So here we go. Let's do some favorite comments of the week. Um, I'm not exactly sure how this is going to work. I'm not super familiar with OBS.
add. You know, mesh is, uh, whoa. Whoa! 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 Slow down. Did you guys see that happen? Oh, that was weird. All right, well, let's get DJ was commenting on mesh and I actually I actually had some really successful vapes with mesh. It's still look, mesh still isn't my favorite. And, and I think that's just gonna be a personal preference thing. I like mesh. I'm using the profile. I, I like mesh inside tanks. I think that mesh has uh, I mean mesh was revolutionary for vaping. It changed a lot. And I, I also really like wire, and I like round wire, and this goat with the anarchist wire. I personally feel I get a little bit better of a vape than I do from mesh, but that's, again, is a personal preference thing. Like, if you're a mesh head, and you're like crazy for mesh, and you're like, fuck wire, fuck anarchist, fuck aliens, then, then don't buy the goat and then complain about it. <laughs> that's all I ask. <laughs> Oh, there's no sound when I show the comments. Okay, that's really good to know. That is really, really good to know. Okay, well, let's remedy that. Sorry, the screen's gonna go black for a quick second and I'm gonna make sure that I can get sound here. Uh, yeah, yeah, go. Okay, I'm just making sure that everybody can hear me here when we're seeing TJ's comment. Uh, let's do another comment of the week here. We got one from uh, Rob Dumont. He uh, Rob wrote in and said, I have been an ER nurse for 21 years. Wet lung isn't a thing. And I've yet to see someone with popcorn lung. Given normally functioning lungs, you would have to vape a metric fuck ton of PG and VG to have anything remotely similar to these symptoms. If your lungs are sensitive or do not function properly, you probably shouldn't be vaping or smoking. Uh, yes, 100%. I agree with you. 100% I agree with you. The, the wet lung thing, I can't believe that. And you, and you know what's you know what's fucking hilarious is we have not heard about wet lung since that one article. No one's mentioned it ever again. I'm sure it'll come back at some point. Same thing with popcorn lung. Once people were getting wise to popcorn lung being a joke that it doesn't exist at least in vaping, no more popcorn lung. I mean, you still see popcorn lung every once in a while, but not as much. Let's uh, let's jump over here to Jimmy. All right. Well, this is a long one. This is a long one related to Canada advocacy, but Jimmy wrote in and said, Nick, not sure if you saw the recent drama in Canada, but the CVA, Canadian Vaping Association, one of the leaders, if not the leader, over 200 companies pay dues. That's awesome. Took over $10,000 from Imperial Tobacco to have a seat on their board. Now I see their side of the argument. Eventually, Big Tobacco will make their main to the market uh, if they don't take over completely given their power. But where it gets ugly is, a, exactly what you said, this is how it starts and how long until our advertising language about smoking harm is stunted, how long until we are a vice industry and not a harm reduction industry. I see the contradiction in that statement, but I also see the clear difference between both in, in, ugh, intention, A, and B, now we can be undermined uh, when we are fighting for our rights. Our opponents can now say we are backed by big tobacco and we are one and the same. My fear as a liquid producer is one day there will be unneeded chemicals in our juice and we really will be a vice industry at that point. Ethics is a bottom line. As a business, my ethics comes first, whom I sell to, what I sell, etc. These tobacco companies have always been cunningly ruthless behind the bending the rules to their will. How long will it be? Well, until they are bending our rules, ugly business, man. Yeah. You know, that's tough. I mean, that's a tough, tough call. Um, I mean, I don't really super believe that big tobacco is, is, is our biggest enemy. Pharmaceuticals, uh, is definitely our biggest enemy. Um, People will. People were telling me that I need to be careful with what I talk about pharmaceutical companies, that they're going to come kill me or something. Um, I, I'm not, I don't think a pharmaceutical company is going to try to kill me, but if I do end up dead in some weird way, right? Like, oh, uh, just, you know, randomly was found dead in his bathtub or something like this. It was big pharmaceuticals and they did come after me. But here's the thing. I hate the hate that big tobacco gets. And I know that's a really weird statement today because to say, because big tobacco is awful, but 
people do have the freedom of choice. You get to choose whether or not you smoke cigarettes. You get to choose whether or not you drink alcohol. You get to choose whether or not you smoke cannabis. You get to choose all of these things. That's part of being a free American. And I don't think that big tobacco really wants to destroy the vaping industry. I think they want the vaping industry, but I think that they're not gonna be able, here's the thing, people are gonna sell out really quickly. And I'm not gonna lie that if Big Tobacco came to me tomorrow, which I've had conversations with Big Tobacco that I've never mentioned, uh, not, not as far as buying anything, but they, we'll have to talk about this later. But if Big Tobacco came and said, uh, we want to buy, we want to hire you and we're going to pay you like $2 million. And then all you're going to do is be a spokesperson for this new heat, not burn, uh, tobacco product. I would say no, but it would be really difficult to say no. This is one of those things where we have to stick to our morals to stick to our, to our core. You know what I mean? There's like, there's this, there's this ethic there's these ethics involved with vaping, you know, and it's it reminds me a lot of like the old hardcore scene, like the old punk scene, old hardcore scene back in the day where there was like there was like a brotherhood component to it, you know, and we didn't sell out. You know, we weren't fucking sellouts, right? I don't ever want to be a sellout. I don't ever want to sell out to Big Tobacco, but for the sake of advocacy, they Big Tobacco has money and resources that we would never have access to, that we would never be able to use to our benefit. And I hate that people are not giving companies a chance to change. Sure, people do shitty things in the past. You can forgive them because they've become a different person or they've become a better person. I don't see any difference in capitalism if Big Tobacco was knowingly and willingly selling death to people. And then now they're kind of like, well, let's not do that. Let's maybe focus on vaping. I don't see anything thing wrong with that necessarily. And I know that sounds weird and I'm not saying that big tobacco is going to take over and I don't want big tobacco to take over. But the truth is Altria has a quadrillion dollars and they are buying up vape companies. That's their Altria is a business company first and a tobacco company second. Uh, Altria has uh, owns parts of Nabisco. They own parts of all of these companies and all these other products that we use. So we might be giving our money to Altria without even knowing it by buying parts of their products that we don't know that they own. It's a slippery slope. It's a slippery slope. And I remember, I remember way back in the day, like 2011, 2012, when vaping was kind of starting to really grow a little bit and there was more and more vapors coming, I thought, all right, well, this is it. Like the core brotherhood of vaping is about to be destroyed. It's going to be overrun with all of these people. And we got to get all of these people to make sure that we stick to this. Like we're vapors. This is, this is ours. This is ours. This is yours and this is ours and, and we need to protect it and whether we need to protect it from pharma, whether we need to protect it from big tobacco or whether we need to protect it just from other outsider idiots that want to tear us down, it's up to us. I'm sorry. I'm getting all a little bit ranty and uh, the video looks frozen on my side and I hope everybody can, uh, can still see it. Let's do a couple more comments of the week before we wrap this up, guys. I got one more here for you. This one is, okay, I don't know if anybody read that. This one I got today, this is the weirdest comment I've ever received. Let's read it. Mike, hey cutie, good lord, I love, love, love when you don't wear a hat. God, it makes me so wet heart. I don't want to ever read that ever again. Please don't ever comment on, don't ever comment that ever again. Don't ever comment that ever again. I mean, I get it that it was kind of pretty funny, but <sighs> you make me so wet. All right, we got the last one here. This is a long one. Dean Mean. Uh, here's just some food for thought. I ran out of mesh because they only give you two with the profile. I bought a pipe screen for 56 cents for five of them. 500 gauge stainless steel screen. Cut them in the shape of the mesh. They are reading 1.2 ohms. And I use and I am used the same one over and over for two weeks. Super smooth as well. Awesome. Awesome. Absolutely. I feel like that would be super difficult to 
to wick maybe unless you do the wick and then bend it over type of thing but yeah stainless steel mesh is stainless steel mesh is stainless steel mesh there's going to be a lot of differences there's going to be kind of like how does anybody remember when there were multiple wire brands out there like remember royal wire remember hot wires i mean anarchist was out there but there were a bunch of wire companies that were all you know, selling their wire and had, they had teams, they had like trick teams, they had like Royal Wire cloud comp teams. I have a feeling that they're, we're going to be overrun with a lot of mesh and there's going to be, you know, that off, uh, off next mesh. First one out of the gate as like a, I don't know, I would call it like a designer mesh, like a, a higher end mesh, I guess. But I have a feeling we're going to see a lot more different types of mesh, a lot more different types of shapes of mesh. I think there's a lot to go in mesh, and I think we're gonna see, I think we're gonna see a lot of mesh. And if you run out of mesh, hell, you can go on Amazon and for 56 cents you can get 50 pipe screens, and then you just cut them, bend them, vape them, or you can just get a goat. Yeah, there is. There is the possibility for temperature control for stainless steel mesh. In fact, I would be really interested to see who uses temperature control still. Like I want a, 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 a gauge, like I want a, a survey. I want to know who's using temperature control because I haven't used temperature control in five years and I don't miss it at all. I was never really into it, but I, that's for me. Uh, watching the prestige, that is a Fantastic movie. Um, Maya Moa Vapor. And for anybody else wondering, uh, MSRP on the goat is $36. And it comes with a goat and two coil heads. Boom, roasted. Yeah, me too. I remember uh, we got Yusti, uh, Yusti Wea. Uh, I remember when we used mesh as a wick. Yeah, I remember that too. Those were the darkest days of vaping. Darkest days of vaping was using mesh as a wick. Spirit Moon, wattage girl, never temp control. Straight up, I'm a wattage vapor too. I am a wattage vapor. Nick, fist bump for saving my life. James, I did not save your life. Thanks you for doing what you do, helping us getting off the SIGs. I have the easy job. You have the hard job. I get to vape cool vape shit and talk about it and explain it on YouTube. And you have the hard part. You're the one that has to put down the cigarette and pick up the vape and decide to use the vape instead of the cigarette. You do the hard part. I have the easy job, but thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Uh, all right, you know what? We're two hours and three minutes. Dude, this is perfect. And we're done and I have no more segments. I'm just gonna polish off the last of this beer. Cheers, here's to you guys one more time. Mm. Oh, that was good. Well, uh, let me just take one quick look here and make sure I didn't forget anything. Now you guys get to see what I really do. I'm gonna move this over here. Make sure that I got everything out of here. Make sure I got everything out of here. Oh, also Dwayne uh, sent me some goats in case anybody, you know, over on the Patreon, wants one for like a $2 sale and might be able to send you one. I mean, not sure. Um, yeah, I think we're good. Let me throw this away. Yeah, I, I genuinely think we're good. I think this was a, I think this was a kick ass first live vlog. I really appreciate everybody coming out and hanging out with me for the last two hours while we went through the vlog. And this is what the vlog is going to be from now on. And I love it. And I hope to see you back here next week same time, same channel, 4.30 p.m. West Coast time. I hope that works for a lot of people. If not, you can always catch the replay. And uh, yeah, I guess that's all I got, you guys. Jason Brown, the last 10-minute donation. Thank you very much, brother. Boom, bump that fist. I really appreciate that. Sifu coming in strong with the eggplants. Bob, Bob, Robert Ellis. Thank you. Appreciate that, Bob. That's very gracious of you. Um, but anyway, thank you so much for watching. Uh, you know, I never thought that just a, a, a nobody, nothing from Lake Tahoe, California would ever uh, have a YouTube that could live stream and that people would actually enjoy it. And I, I have purpose and, and I'm driven. And 
I love all of you and thank you for being on board. Thank you for believing in the cause. Thank you for all of the support for the 510 report. I'm just, I'm very thankful for the abundance right now. I'm feeling very gracious towards all of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yo, yo, nothing but love. And, uh, yeah, I guess that's all I got for today, everybody. So once again, thank you for coming out. Thank you so much for watching. And I'm going to end this video the way that I have ended my videos for the last 10 years. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. And as always, I have a Juno pod here. I haven't vaped this the whole show, and I just picked it up. We're going to go goat. And as always, let's keep on vaping, guys.